Hello, Richard Stallman. In our monthly broadcast, uh, we introduce a new GNU distribution each time, a, a GNU Linux distribution. And we normally only introduce uh, distributions uh, which are recommended by the FSF. Well, thank you. And GNU project. Um, so we never, we never exactly told our viewers why we do this. And maybe you want to explain um, why we introduce sure. only GNU distributions. Well, I can't explain why you do that, but I can tell why we recommend certain distributions and not the rest. Basically, we have a list of the distributions that are entirely freedom respecting. Every part of them is free software. Because that's what we aim for. That's the reason for the GNU system. The reason I started developing a free operating system was to make it possible to use a computer with no non-free software. A free program respects the user's freedom and community. A non-free program is non-free because it does not respect the user's freedom and community. It tramples those things. It's an injustice. So, if you want to live in freedom in a community, you need to escape from non-free software. But the computer won't run without an operating system, so the only way you can escape is if there's a place to escape to. There had to be an operating system that was entirely free software. So that's what GNU is supposed to be. That's the reason I launched its development. Well, in the 90s, once Linux had been added to GNU, various people started developing distributions of GNU and Linux, but most of them were not supporters of free software as an ethical cause. So they preferred to have success rather than freedom. So they added attractive non-free programs to their distros. And since the mid-90s, most GNU plus Linux distros have been not entirely free. Well, if you install one of those, you haven't escaped. So, uh, 10 years or so ago, when, when there started to be some entirely free distros, we decided to recommend those so that people would know if you go to if you install these distros you've escaped to freedom and all the rest you haven't. Do you think that's the first new Linux distribution that a person should ever install? Uh, a lot of people um, learn about computers uh, using proprietary software. Oh, sorry, it's really late. Uh, using proprietary software and proprietary operating systems. Do you think they should switch to uh, to a completely free operating system well, immediately? Well, okay. There's a confusion here. Mm -hmm. The uh, in terms of the difficulty of switching, it really makes no difference whether mm -hmm. the distro you switch to is entirely free. Okay. Uh, however, if you want to switch in an easier way, it makes sense first to install free applications on top of your non-free system. In particular, to install LibreOffice and install a free browser. And that way, you'll be able to do most of the learning that's necessary for switching. And then, once w later on, you can replace the system underneath the applications, and you'll go on using the same applications in your free system, and that won't be a big change in terms of how to use it. So the point is that when you learn to use the free applications, you don't have to erase the non-free applications okay. right away. So you'll have be able to switch back and forth for a while until you're comfortable with the free application. That's, that's a very good. And this way, yeah. you've done most of the learning that's necessary in a situation where you can switch back and forth easily. And then when you do the last step, which is replacing the system, it's not that much different to mm -hmm. learn, because most of what you do will be with the Office Suite or with the browser. Okay, thank you. That's a very good recommendation, I believe. Um, and the other thing is that the, a beginner shouldn't be installing operating systems. Go to a user group and f find someone who loves installing s the system to help people. Uh, I've never installed GNU slash Linux. 
I never saw a point in learning how. There was always someone I could ask to do it for me who already knew how and who wouldn't make any mistakes. I believe uh, Sivan just said that he would have another question uh, which we couldn't okay. come up with. And if you dare to come in front of the camera and yeah. ask it closer to the microphone. I have one question. Recently we've had a lot of problems with uh, proprietary drivers for peripherals. So um, if we're not talking about computers but devices uh, that we want to use with our computers, are you at the end of the day suggesting not to use um, hardware that only comes with proprietary drivers, yes. like GSM and GPS? Well, I'm not sure that's actually true nowadays, but basically, yes, I won't run any non-free software. Uh, now, I don't want to have a cell phone. They're tracking and surveillance devices. In fact, they have a universal back door, and it's inside the software that, in the signal processor that talks to the phone radio network. And no one has any free software to do that job. And we couldn't tell how to install it if we had it. So basically, if it, it doesn't even do any good, really. It, it, well, it's a step forward, but it doesn't really give you freedom you can count on to install a completely free system in the main computer of a phone because the universal back door in the GSM signal processor has the power to write over your free system and replace it with any nasty stuff they want. So you don't see a point in free Android software? Well, it's a step forward, but it's not good enough to be acceptable to me. And aside from that, they can track the phone just by triangulation, even if all the software, even in the GSM signal processor, were free. Uh, even if your phone offered no cooperation to tracking you, they could still track you. I consider that unacceptable. And so I won't have a mobile phone. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, thank you for the short interview. Uh, if you to want to find more information about the problems with Android, which is sort of free in principle but not really in practice, take a look at gnu.org slash philosophy slash android and users freedom.html. Okay, thank you.